The brain is a galaxy of neurons. Synaptic energy pulsates like cosmic radiation from the stars. But when stellar constellations fade and die, their light continues to travel on for millions of years across the vacuum of space to warm and stimulate any organic material it comes into contact with. What if we were able to radiate the synaptic energy of a living brain to warm and stimulate other organic material, perhaps even a clinically dead brain? Could we reanimate this organic matter at some fundamental level? I'm Dr Brendan Dare of Thrill Laboratory and I'm on a journey to answer these questions. My technicians in the auditorium today will be monitoring a subject's neurological activity as they watch some of the world's most extreme films carefully selected by my friends at Mayhem. Together, we hope to excite and probe every facet of their imagination. Now, just as celestial light needs special conditions to be transported efficiently across space and time, our synaptic energy needs a highway as complex as the brain itself. I'll be using the World Wide Web. For the public understanding of science, our subject's neuroactivity can be scrutinised online as it makes its fantastic voyage across the web until it finally appears to animate our brain. For ethical reasons, we're not allowed to perform stimulation of a recently deceased human brain. Instead, we will be using a swine-based alternative made of this jello. Amazingly, it's the only organic material known to be capable of supporting micro levels of synaptic energy. And for your entertainment in between live experiments, we will replay data buffered from previous screenings and stored at our secure biodata farm in Arizona. Finally, do let one of my technicians know if you're interested in having your subconsciousness buffered and stored for the entertainment of future generations. Thrill Laboratory can offer a range of very competitive packages. Your brain is safe in our hands.